Previously on MasterChef, the biggest mystery box ever <laughs> unleashed one home cook's aggression. I'm not here to make friends. And one judge's fury. Show these people the same respect they show you. If not, I'm going to personally come over there and throw you out of here. And Aaron was sent packing. You're done inside MasterChef. Tonight, the home cooks face their most intimidating critics yet. Oh. Also known as our mothers. Smile, Mum. You're scaring all the contestants. But the desire to impress. My mum has flown halfway around the world to come here and eat that. Pushes everybody to the limits. We don't have time. It looks ridiculous. Oh. I'm not a fish lover. And in tonight's pressure test, one more home cook's master chef dream will end. The remaining 10 amateur cooks have been summoned to a California hotel where they'll be split into opposing teams to cook lunch for the most daunting VIP guests ever. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. The losing team will face the dreaded pressure test where one more cook's master chef dream will die. Your task today will be to cook a stunning three-course meal for three very tough critics who, in our opinion, are the toughest critics we've ever, ever known. The thought of facing food critics has all completely rattled, especially myself. I just have a ball of nerves ready to explode in my stomach. So, Tracy, Giuseppe, you had the best dishes in yesterday's elimination test. So today, you'll be team captains. Let's go. Right. I'm excited to be the captain. It's just time to prove that I can be a good leader. Tracy. The first person I'm going to pick has, I think, my level of passion and love for food. So I'm going to pick Adrian. I'm not going to take Christian. Christian is too cocky. He thinks that he knows too much. I'm picking this person because she has a very good palate, and we work very well together. Who are you picking? Alejandra. Christian. Interesting. Ben. Danny. Susie. OK, Christine, here we are. I'm used to it. <laughs> Yet again, you're in the bottom two. Yes. I guess I like being on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on my team before you say anything else. Yeah, you're not last. <laughs> Pick last. Darn it. <laughs> All right, it's time to meet your guest judges for today. Throughout our careers in the restaurant business, these critics have never failed to kick our ass. But at the same time, they've been very quick to praise our triumphs. They're arriving now. Where? The judges are saying that these are the toughest critics that they've ever had. I'm thinking maybe it's Anthony Bourdain. Here they come. The mothers! Oh! I just couldn't help but get emotional. I developed a love for Italian cooking through watching Lydia Bastianich on television. I'm really nervous and just freaked out. Our toughest critics by far, trust me. If there's one lady in the world that give me a dressing down, she's standing right by side of me. Smile, Mum. You're scared. All the contestants. Hi, I'm Helen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kate. My mom here is my most tireless supporter, always there to kind of back me up and also keep me in check. So take that into consideration <laughs> when you start cooking. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. <laughs> I have oh, the unique advantage of having a mother who is not only a consummate mother, but also a chef. You guys better bring it today or else she's going to get the wooden spoon out for you guys, too. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge because this is not normal moms. This is a super moms. <laughs> right, listen carefully. The skill of this challenge is to create dishes that appeal to all three of our mothers. You will not be flying completely blind. Each team captain gets a unique opportunity to spend a few minutes alone with our mothers. Oh, my God. All right, team captains, head to the patio. The captains now have just two minutes each to determine the three moms' very specific likes and dislikes. Hello again, ladies. Hi, Tracy. I have three women, and my goal is finding a common ground between all of them. If you could see a main component on the dish, what would you want to see? I love fish, and I love 
vegetables. Fish and vegetables. I don't like sea bass. Like tuna? No. Yes, no, tuna. Thank you. I like tuna, no. but... Okay, um, Gordon's mother, she's very picky. You can make her happy. She's worse than Ramsey. So if I have to make some, uh, some pasta. I like okay. fresh pasta, yeah, it's you nice. Like fresh pasta? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's I love it. I know you love pasta. How to please three of us. Oh. We got in desserts. I love lots of fruits. I love tarts. You don't no, like tarts? Don't like, no. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, and nice to meet you. Both teams have just one hour to plan and cook the perfect three-course lunch menu of appetizer. So we're going to do the carrot soup. An entree. Let's go to the turbo. I'm going to hook up the fish. I'm just going to season it, salt and pepper. I'm going to pan fry it. And a dessert. Me and Christina are going to okay. do dessert. The judges' moms will decide which dish is best in each course. The team who wins two of the three courses wins the challenge. Adrian's going to work on the carrot and ginger soup. I'm going to have Christian working on the fish. I know I'm taking a little bit of a risk because... I'm serving fish, and Helen may not like it. But big risk, big payoff. Jenny with the fennel and tomato salad. Christine and myself working on the dessert, which is poached pears and a walnut brittle. While Tracy and her blue team have devised a slightly risky menu for the moms, red team leader Giuseppe is insisting his menu revolves around what he knows best. I think yeah. we should go a little bit Italian, especially mm -hmm. for appetizer. A little polenta with uh, arugula on the top, and we can make crispy polenta cake. Maybe yeah. hard to pull out in one hour, but... We'll work on it. For the entry, we're going to do pasta carbonara with pancetta. Mm -hmm. And for the dessert, apple pie mm -hmm. with vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. and uh, caramel cream on top. So we have an Italian judge. We have an Italian team captain. First and second courses are Italian. We've got an Italian menu. I've never seen apple pie served in Italy. I am seriously worried about that. I give the job to Ben and Susie to work on the dessert. I'm putting Alejandra and Derek on uh, the salad, and I wanted to do the pasta myself. With less than 30 minutes to go before serving the appetizers, Joe has concerns over the blue team's dish. This is the carrot soup. Adrian, what do you got here? Carrot thyme, star anise, bay leaf, tiny bit of cinnamon. You think that the moms are going to like a carrot soup? Seems kind of simple. Yes, uh, I think they're going to love it. While the blue team steams forward with their simple carrot soup, red team is planning on having their crispy polenta appetizer ready in world record time. According to everything I know, you cannot turn out crispy polenta in one hour. That's really freaking me out. I make polenta differently. I only make creamy polenta. Well, don't do it by, um, by measurement. Do it by eye. We're piecing together the salad. So the first thing I have to do is I have to get this polenta cooking, and I have to season it, and then I have to get it in the fridge to rest. We have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left for appetizers. Oh, no. So I'm pulling the polenta out of the ring molds, and I'm throwing them down on the, on the griddle, and I'm, I'm trying to sear it off because, you know, we wanted a crispy polenta on the meat, and it just didn't set enough, and it was a horror show. It broke. Take it out. Take it out. It's breaking apart. <laughs> they never made polenta before. The polenta is falling apart, so I'm freaking out. Pull yourselves together, yes? Don't make yourself look stupid. Should we just put it down like this? You need more olive oil on that, Derek. We got five minutes left. Okay, guys, we gotta start plating right now. Uh, Derek, do it on a pan. Put some. I don't have any pans. Alejandra, we don't have time. The two teams are almost done prepping their three-course lunch for the VIP guest judges: Gordon's mom, Graham's mom, and Joe's mom. Taste that sauce. Fish, guys. It's good. With just five minutes left before appetizers must go. Take it out, take it out, they're taking apart. The red team scrambles to save their disastrous polenta. Look at it. And over on the blue team, Christian's worried Tracy's soup presentation yeah. looks amateur. Perfect. Tracy! Look, something more like no, that. I like the swirl. A swirl? Yep. I did. Okay. I liked it. Tracy was a good cook. I don't think she has as much food knowledge as I do. I think it looks ridiculous. Sorry, I liked it. And that's where you kind of hit a wall sometimes with some of these people. I'm not telling you because I have this idea. I'm telling you this because I know this for a fact. All right, guys, you have 60 seconds to finish these plates. What are you putting in the middle of it? We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of thyme leaves and some lemon zest. I think you should. I, I'd leave the thyme out of it. No, no. 
Christian is strong-headed and is going to fight me on certain things and is going to try to insist on in his way. Did you try it with it? Yeah. You tried it all together? Yeah. All right. See if Jenny needs any help with her veggies. At the end of the day, I'm the one serving this dish, so I'm the one that needs to take responsibility, and it's my face on their plate. You cut this and do this, I'll go back over and do a second dressing. Christian, how he treats people is disrespectful, and everyone's had enough. 30 seconds to go. That's not putting that one. Uh, oh, a little more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody, stop. Time is up. Stop, 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 stop. Well, I'm nervous, of course, because the blue team soup looks fantastic. It looks like a beautiful Picasso, a nice drawing, you know? I look at my plate, we're hiding a little bit of the polenta, we cover it up with the salad, and go. In this challenge, the judges' moms will make a unanimous decision on the winning dish for each course. The team that wins at least two of the three courses will win the challenge. Walking out to serve this appetizer to these women, I'm really nervous, I'm really excited. Lydia Bastianich is really a tough critic, and Kate and Helen, they're tough too. We wanted to start off with a carrot and ginger soup, and we used a little lemon zest and lemon juice with some creme fraiche to give you a little lightness. And for us, for the red team, we are starting today with a mixed green salad that has the plum balsamic vinaigrette, and we've served it over a basil polenta mini cake. Bon appetit. Buen provecho. Thank you. Nice colors, isn't it? Yeah, I smelled the ginger coming right out. The spices in there are just enough. There's not too much ginger. Yeah. Should we go on to the salad? What do you think, ladies? The vinaigrette, this is beautiful. Did you like the polenta? Babe? Did I ever have it like this in a salad? No, not really. In a salad? No. I think it's delicious. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you Hello. enjoying your appetizers? Kate, tell me about the carrot soup. I think it's beautiful. I love the color. But I found it a little bit sweet. OK, Mom, what do you think? It looks beautiful. But I was looking for that carrot. I didn't mm. find it. Let's talk about the red team salad. Very tasty. The flavors were lovely. The one thing that I would have liked, maybe a different choice of greens. Back in the kitchen, both teams have just 10 minutes to perfect their entrees. I know Helen Ramsey isn't like super in love with fish, but if anyone is going to make her a true reliever in a fish dish, it's definitely going to be Christian. It's already got a lot of texture to it. It's not a piece of meat, it's a piece of fish. While the blue team's risky fish entree is on track, I mean, I knew that. Team Red is confused over their spaghetti carbonara. You're not making the pasta yourself? I'm thinking like, Wait a minute, you're using pre-made pasta? You're not making the pasta? No, I'm gonna mix with you. I, for some reason, thought that you should be making the pasta from scratch, and it's fine. Yeah, I if, thought so. If, okay, if, yeah. And no, he's using actual pasta? Yes. Everybody thought that when Giuseppe said, I'm making pasta carbonara, he meant that he was making the pasta himself. No. You're gonna boil store-bought pasta for Lydia Bastianich. You don't do fresh pasta with carbonara, you do dry spaghetti, and that's it. You need to pick something on top of that, like some form of vegetable. Poached egg. Poached egg. Despite Red Team's concern, Giuseppe is adamant all Italian chefs use dry pasta in spaghetti carbonara. I can't put on carbonara something that doesn't belong to the carbonara. It's like you're doing a pizza with a lasagna on top. No, the pasta is going to go on the egg, it's going to put the parmigiano with the pancetta. Let's go, Giuseppe, please. Come on, you're like half dead. Where's the energy gone? Five, like that. One, one more. I got one, I got one, I got one. Three. Talk to me, guys. Two. Okay, I'm back. One. Perfect. All right, let's go. While the blue team is taking a big gamble with a fish dish for Gordon's mom, Giuseppe is sure his carbonara, made with store-bought pasta, will give fellow Italian Lydia an authentic taste of home. Ladies, thank you from Team Blue. We prepared pansered turbo with a white wine bourbon blanc sauce. We shaved fresh fennel on top of our lightly dressed watercress salad with honey, lemon, vinaigrette. Okay, from the red team, I made the pasta alla carbonara. It's a classic. It's a pasta with eggs and pancetta and uh, parmesan cheese. Bon Thank appetito. you so much. Enjoy. Enjoy. This looks good, huh? Yeah. It mm. delicious, doesn't it? Nice, yeah. yeah. It's fabulous, all these pretty colors. I think it's great here, the way it is presented. Mm. I'm 
I'm gonna get into the pasta. For me, at least, it really is cooked right. Ladies. Uh -huh. So, Lydia, what were your thoughts on the red team? Nice pasta dish? I think it's a, a very good rendition of carbonara. Yes. The ratio of the bacon and uh, maybe the eggs is also right on. I was really disappointed in it. I find this very dry. Mom, what are your thoughts on the turbo, the blue team's fish? I love the blue team's fish. I love the way it looked. I love the way it tasted. I like the variety of the different ingredients. I would have liked it maybe just a little bit more acidity into it. Helen. I'm not a fish lover. But I've changed today. Wow, convert. I liked everything about it, and I've eaten it after today. Thank you guys so much. Back in the kitchen. Just under three minutes to go. Both the red team and the blue team race to finish their dessert courses. If the ice cream does melt a little bit, it'll just yeah, drip it'll down and you'll have this awesome pool okay, to dip it. stuff in. The red team is thrilled with their individual apple pies. Over on the blue team, Tracy and Christian are at war again over the presentation of their poached pears. I think that they look better whole, team. You don't serve a pear with a corant or a pit in it. Don't let them throw you off. I would say cut them in half. All right, if you guys think so, we'll do it. Oh, Yes. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. what we wanted, a third of a pear on each plate? No, Chef, it's not what I originally wanted. It doesn't even look like a dessert, Tracy. Yeah, yeah. There's just one course left to serve the judges' moms, dessert. The blue team is panicked over their poached pear presentation. Look at it. It doesn't even look like a dessert, Tracy. Tracy, there's one team entering a pressure test tomorrow. I know, Chef. And on the back of that, at least one of you will be leaving MasterChef. Guys, pull yourselves together, yes? My mum has flown halfway around the world to come here and eat that. Two and a half minutes to go. Tracy, put your nuts on now. Nuts on now. Oh. Time is running out. I'm looking at my dish, and I'm just not thrilled with the presentation. I know that we're going to have to change the game plan. I don't care. We're putting a pair in each one. While Tracy panics and adds last-minute whole pairs to blue team plates, red team's apple pies have gone exactly to plan. I'm looking at the blue team, and I look at my dessert, and I'm thinking, Mama, we got this for sure. This is beautiful. Look at it. 45 seconds to go. Finishing touches. I'm scared. Super scared. The red team made a beautiful apple pie, and dessert has been the hiccup of every team that has lost. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Where's the caramel? five, caramel, caramel, four, caramel. three, two, one, and stop. The final dessert course is served. Let's go, please. Both teams have made fruit desserts, but which will appeal more to all three of the judges' highly critical moms? I think the apple pie will suit these moms because, hello, it's apple pie. If they're really looking for an exceptional dish, I think we have it. If they're looking for mascarpone, soggy nuts, and a pushed pear on a dish, then great, the other team has that in the bag. We have a honey and vanilla mascarpone, poached pear, and candied walnuts. Hope you enjoy. Mm, thank thank, thank you. you. And ladies, today for the red team, we have an individual apple pie on a lovely caramel sauce with a disc of homemade vanilla ice cream on the side. So please enjoy it. Bon appetit. Nice meeting you. Where should we start? Should we start yeah. with the pear first? Pears, yes. I love the presentation mm -hmm. of the pear. That's very beautiful and simple. It just smelts in your mouth. Oh, oh the wow. pie is warm still. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> Ladies. Yes. First of all, have we ended on a high? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mum, how was the apple pie? The apple pie for the red team was lovely. Lydia, how was the pear for the blue team? The pear was delicious, light, beautiful, the way to finish. It's a, it's a beautiful dessert. Uh, thank you. Uh, your feedback is absolutely crucial. Uh, let's go and tell the teams. Okay, let's Please, go. Please, ladies. Blue team, let's go. Red team, let's go. The judges' moms have come to a consensus. The team to win two out of the three courses will win the challenge. Wow. 
three stunning dishes, the most amazing appetizer, a stunning, delicious entree, and a grand finale with a dessert. So we'll begin with the appetizer course. The blue team had the carrot soup flavored with ginger, anise, a couple of other spices. The red team had the salad with candied walnuts over the crispy polenta cake with Parmesan. There's nothing in this world that old ladies like more than soup. I'm a little bit worried that we probably lost the appetizer course. Kate, red or blue, which one won? Salad won. Salad, so we have a victory for the red team for the polenta wow, salad. Wow, thank you. Red team, congratulations. They like the polenta? Well done. One nil to the red team. Let's talk about entrees. Red team, pasta carbonara. Blue team, turbo with fennel. Gordon's mom doesn't like fish. And turbo reeks, honestly. It's disgusting. Why don't you tell us what your thoughts were on these entrees? Helen, we know that you had some previous issues with fish. Yes, I don't <laughs> like fish. Red or blue? The fish is lovely. Wow. The blue team. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Incredible. Wow. Great job, thank you. Yes. Appetizers going to the red team, entrees going to the blue team. It's all down to desserts. There's a lot riding on this. Mums, the dessert. You have this dainty, great finesse poached pear served with an amazing apple pie. I feel really proud. These apple pies really showed a level of technique that I don't think the other team showed with their dish stall. Lydia? It was difficult. It really was because you guys were great. Was it the poached pear of the blue team? Or the red team's apple pie? Poach pear, the blue team. Poach pear! <laughs> yes! Blue team, congratulations! congratulations. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Jeff. Tracy, how do you feel? <laughs> Speechless. The pear? Really? Your apple pie was delicious. The one technicality is that the ratio of dough to the filling was much greater. You had two-thirds ratio and it was too much dough. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that we lost on this dessert. Red team, you will be facing a very difficult pressure test where at least one of you will be leaving MasterChef. Blue team, red team, get out of here. of the team challenge, the red team must now face a pressure test in the MasterChef kitchen, where at least one contestant will be sent home. Well, you gotta go for the pressure test. You don't sleep at night. It's the worst place to be, because anybody can go home. Welcome, everyone. Yesterday, you faced the mother of all challenges. <laughs> Blue team, you won the challenge, so you're safe. Congratulations. How do you feel? Awesome. Amazing. I felt good. OK, Blue team, head up to the gallery. How does it feel to be up there? I feel like God. <laughs> no, pressure test for Christine. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't give a crap about anything else. Right, red team. You lost the challenge. At least one of you will be leaving MasterChef. Giuseppe, why do you think your team lost? My team uh, lost because it's about uh, different palettes, Joe. You lost the challenge because of the palettes of my mother. When are you guys going to start stepping up to the plate and have a little bit more integrity? Don't dare start blaming Lydia, Kate, or my mother. She may be from Scotland, but does she know her apple pie? Please take your places behind the table. Let's go. Yesterday, you were a close-knit team. 
but today you'll be falling apart at the seams. It's time to compete in another intense pressure test. And when it's done, at least one of you will be leaving Master Chef. Richie, the theme of today's pressure test is Eggs Benedict. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, Chef. I could not stifle that scream of joy because I knew this is something I've got in the bag. I make Eggs Benedict from scratch every Sunday. It is a completely level playing field now. You'll have all the same ingredients to create for us perfection on a plate. With the Eggs Benedict. The only things that you're really doing, you're poaching an egg and you're making hollandaise. So if one of those isn't good, you're done. Hollandaise sauce, nothing simple about it. It's a very technical sauce. It's super temperamental, can separate, it can seize up, and trust me, it can become the bane of your existence. Okay, we want those Eggs Benedict to be presented at the end of 30 minutes. All of you, head to your stations, please. 30 minutes. That leaves not a second for error. You have to do everything perfectly the first time. What is in front of you, that is it. There is nothing in the pantry, that is it. Your time starts now. In this pressure test, the home cooks have just 30 minutes to prepare the perfect Eggs Benedict. To survive, the dish needs to be executed perfectly. The judges will be looking for technique and taste, as well as presentation. I actually poach eggs very often. This is something that I do at home. My husband loves Eggs Benedict. For me, it's the toughest challenge. Eggs Benedict, I never made it before. Hopefully I can succeed today. Classic French technique with this. Not gonna do anything crazy. Hollandaise sauce is not something I make a lot. I really need to get things in order and cooking at the proper time. I think with this point in the competition, with the kind of talent we have, this test will really judge them on their technical ability. Absolutely. So you get the Hollandaise sauce from first, right. and that water's gonna be a rolling boil underneath, mm -hmm. gently, so those eggs don't become scrambled before you add the clarified butter. But the secret is how that lemon juice in there at the end. Right, it kind of cuts through the richness of that butter and egg. This is about time management. You have exactly 30 that. minutes to get this done. Just coming up to 10 minutes gone, 20 minutes left. Ben Starr, breakfast man extraordinaire. Yes, sir. Who do you feel scared for today? I know that Giuseppe hasn't cooked a hollandaise okay. before, but he's a really sharp guy, so right. I'm sure he's going to produce a we'll beautiful give you the benefit holiday. of the doubt. Right, Derek. How you doing? Okay. One, two, three, four, five of you left. Who's leaving MasterChef tonight? I don't know. I, 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 I see a lot of confidence in Giuseppe, but I'm hoping for the best Giuseppe. for Giuseppe. Oh, my God. Are you, are you in a tailspin here? Are you panicking? Uh, no, actually, I mean, I have the, the eggs down on time, and my uh, hollandaise is done. Did you taste that? Yes, I did. You don't like it? I am petrified of Mr. Bastian's. He's making me have second thoughts on a sauce that I think it's really good. All right, guys, just over 11 minutes, OK? 11 minutes. So do they poach the eggs and go straight onto the muffin, or do they shock them first into ice water and then gently reheat them? Right. That would be a very strategic a decision. 29th minute, yeah. yeah. See who makes that call. I do a brief pre-poach inside the shell. The hot water rushes inside and kind of forms up the egg on the inside of the shell first. So you get a much better crack when you lower the egg into the simmering water for the poach. Ooh, look at that, dropping I it think in. It's gonna be okay. This is the moment of truth right here. I feel confident at the same time I feel, uh, you know, I never made a good bench at all. You think you're gonna be here tomorrow then? Of course, I'm gonna see you again. Five minutes to go now, five minutes. What does an Eggs Benedict look like? For me, it's almost like mm -hmm. a three-dimensional painting because you can also visually see the textures. Obviously, the hollandaise mm -hmm. is soft and creamy. The egg is perfectly poached. The ham has got a little bit of char around it. The mm -hmm. muffin has the right amount of toast. You can eat it with your eyes. Two minutes.
minutes left. When I realized in the minutes left, I said, oh my God. It was so undercooked. I just gotta take him out. Last minute. There is nothing else I can do. I just gotta put this uh, black egg on the muffin with the ham. One of my eggs slide out completely. <laughs> fold the egg whites over that yolk. Gently fold it over. Yeah, don't mess with that. Right. 30 seconds to go. You know, I was just so focused on getting this sauce done. And I look up and there's only 30 seconds left. You know, I've still got eggs in an ice bath. Now, this is a mad frantic dash. I don't care what it looks like. Just get it on the plate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop! plates down to the front bench in tonight's pressure test the home cooks had just 30 minutes to create the perfect eggs benedict using only the ingredients at their stations the judges will be looking not only for taste but for technique the first thing i see is an egg yolk sitting on the side of giuseppe's plate and oh my heart just sinks for him everybody happy with their plates in front of them Okay. Talk me through it. Yes, chef. We have griddled English muffins and ham, and the hollandaise is made with the chilled butter method rather than the liquid butter. I've never made hollandaise with whole butter. So you've got to use more sauce if you're using whole butter as opposed to clarified butter. Egg should be just oozing out when I slice through there, yes? Yes, chef. Me that it's bad and they're not telling me that it's good they're just not telling me anything so definitely I'm worried because I'm just getting the evil eye from all three of them I did one of the worst dish I could ever make in my life and I can never forgive myself at least I put together the whole dish Derek it did not you sort of missed the muffin there just slide out right now. Undercooked? It's a little undercooked. It's like your egg was embarrassed. It was trying to yeah, escape out the door. And the egg's raw. I'm sandwiched in disaster right now. I'm next to, like, Giuseppe on one side and Derek on the other, and... Both of them are pissed off. The presentation looks nice. You've covered the egg. Beautiful. Where's your sauce? In a bowl. In a bowl? Some on top. Not enough. What happened? I, I... I don't know. I lost track of time. OK, let's try and get a little bit on the egg. Well, it's cooked. that this is my last dish in this kitchen. My one saving grace is Giuseppe's plate may actually be uglier than mine.
I've toasted my bread slightly. My poached eggs, they don't look like all over the place like some of the other ones. And my sauce made it to the top. I feel confident, actually. How are the eggs cooked? I think they're done perfect. Do you think they're perfect? They're not. They're definitely overcooked. And the sauce has gone like solidified butter. Your eggs are like golf balls. You happy with that, Anne? Yes, sir. Alejandro, do you miss your husband? Maybe you'll see him tonight. Maybe. I'm still shaken up. I can't afford to go home. I'm just hoping they see that my dish is not as bad as others. <laughs> okay, first of all, in this tough pressure test, at least one of you is going home. Ben Starr. It wasn't perfect. But it wasn't bad. You're safe. Join the rest. I pulled it off today, and that has filled me with this desire to go all the way and to actually win. And for the first time in this competition, I actually believe that can happen. Giuseppe, clearly you had a lot of problems with your dish. Yes. Stay where you are. Susie. You're safe. Please go upstairs. Derek. Stay there. You're definitely not safe. Alejandra. Wasn't the best. But it wasn't the worst either. Go upstairs. Good job, lady. How are you? It's a great shame to see either of you leaving Master Chef. It's been a great journey for both of you. But we're basing this decision purely on the eggs benedict. One had undercooked eggs, one had insufficient sauce. But there is one eggs benedict that does sit at the bottom of this pressure test. The person leaving Master Chef is. One of you is going to be leaving MasterChef. It's a great shame to see either of you leaving. I give up so much to be here, but I underestimate the eggs banning. I thought I could pull it off. It's been a great journey for both of you, but we're basing this decision purely on the eggs benedict. I've had some close calls. I've been up, I've been down, but this is definitely the lowest I've been. And if I go home for eggs, that's going to be a tough one to get over. One had undercooked eggs. One had insufficient sauce. But there is one egg, Benedict, that does sit at the bottom of this pressure test. The person leaving MasterChef is... Giuseppe. You, across this competition, have been a breath of fresh air. Your passion is extraordinary. Your heart is one of the biggest we've ever seen inside this competition. Thank you, Chef. Do not ever 
go back to selling granite. <laughs> Keep cooking. All right, sir. Thank you. Come say goodbye. All right. Again, you too. It's a beautiful experience that I had with MasterChef. I wanted to prove that I can cook and I can compete with other people in this competition. I want to see how far the love for food can take me in my life. Actually, it took me pretty far. I made it to the top 10. I'm very proud of myself. I did a great job. Uh, it's a beautiful journey, guys. Giuseppe has brought so much joy and laughter to this group. We are really going to miss that energy from the group. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Derek, are you done in MasterChef? Have you peaked? And I got a lo lot of cooking left to do. Get up there. I know I really have to like step up my game now. This is definitely the lowest I've been and I don't ever want to be here again. Next time on MasterChef. A little stress. Nine remain. One of you is MasterChef. Just eight more people to knock out. And one home cook finds himself without any allies in the kitchen. I certainly hope I win today. I win everything else, so it's fine. Put your ego back in your head for a sec. And stop being it. In the elimination test, the cooks serve up their worst dishes yet. Awful. No excuse at this stage in the game. And at least one more home cook's MasterChef dream will come to an end.